Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today is another Corvette day and I've taken the whole front end off because I'm putting on a front splitter. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a reminder that I'm giving away a $6,400 Sonic Toolbox. So check out this video so you can see what you can win. simple on how to enter leave a comment below one comment per video equals one entry if you want to help support the channel I have merchandise on my website gastax.com every dollar you spend gets you three entries anyways let's jump into today's video so if you saw the last video I had some new tires that were gonna get put on actually there's a company in Chicago called ASAP tire that come to your house mount your tires balance them right in your driveway I have a video I'll link up here showing you exactly how it works and I've used them a bunch of times now and they're absolutely convenient 100 bucks to mount and balance all these wheels and they take the old ones away all right so I had to remove the hood the front bumper I didn't feel like filming the front bumper there's a ton of people that have videos about how to remove the front bumper basically there's 50 plus bolts to remove the front bumper now I have these brackets here from nine lives racing the guy recently designed these and made these for a front splitter now this front splitter is not a nine lives racing front splitter uh, it's that brand however you say that victorious so hopefully it works out if not I'll figure it out but today I need to mount these brackets and then I'm also going to be mounting a tow hook up front now both of these things need rib nuts I've never used rib nuts before or mounted rib nuts so that's going to be a new experience for me today but I did buy a new rib nut gun right here because I figured it's not going to be the last time I'm going to use a rib nut gun. Everything in today's video is linked down below if you feel like purchasing anything. But let's jump into putting on the front splitter. Alright, so Nine Lives Racing doesn't really have instructions on how to do anything, unfortunately. And since this is a new product, it's pretty hard to figure it out. But you get this printout with the mounts. So I figured out based on the C5 ones they have that this cutout goes right here and then it marks out where you need to drill holes and insert the rib nuts then this mount goes like this up in here mounts right there and it gives you a super sturdy front splitter mount now some things i still need to figure out are where these mounts go i know i saw on the c5 uh these ones come right out here uh, I need to figure out what exactly has this hole in it or around here so I can actually figure out where these ones go hopefully the guys at nine lives racing get back to me but I've been trying to talk to them for a couple days now with no luck unfortunately so let's jump into figuring out this rib gun mark it out I've installed the rib nuts on this side um, and then if you look here, I actually had to cut this uh, Bracket compared to that one and that is because there's those lines going to the radiator So this is where it mounts and if you see down there anyways, I, I can't hold and focus But uh, that pipe right there was rubbing against the bracket. So I just shaved a little bit of this off I'm gonna touch it up with some paint and then install it Alrighty, I have one installed right there. I had to shave off quite a bit. This is dropped all the way down and it's not touching. Okay, first pre-drilling. Alright, perfect. Let's get the rib nuts in there and get it going. Well now those are both on. I just had to bend the horns out of the way. All right, now to figure out where these puppies go. Obviously these get mounted 
on here so there has to be an angle for all of these so I'm gonna tinker around until I find something that matches the same level as those and then I'll get back to you I haven't figured out where those go but I wanted to put the bumper on these brackets are in the way here let's get the light are in the way I need to make this slit bigger so I'm going to come and cut this out here and here so it will fit and then I can start looking at where those other mounts go All right, I'm just gonna clean this up a bit and then and then we'll test fit it. So left to right it works. I just need to slit make this hole actually deeper. All right, so that cut worked out perfectly. Now these things need to come up quite a bit. Well, I don't know how much. I'm gonna fool around with that and then I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So this front splitter is not as aggressive as I would like. So I'll probably end up getting another one. But this is what I'm going to do. Instead of bolting the front splitter to the bottom, I'm going to cut a slit down here, a thin slit, so this can slot in to the actual brackets. Then I can, you know, bolt it on either side. So this is what I've done. I have squared off the front uh, with a line. And then from there, I drew these lines. So these should be pointing 100% straight i decided to take one of the brackets off because i wanted to mark the bolt holes thank god i did because i was going to slit it all the way to that line but really it only needs to get slit right there so i got a slit right there and right there then i'll drill some holes for the nuts and bolts and we should be good here it is so I have through bolted with stainless steel uh, bolts, the brackets on the bottom. I'm not worried about this cut weakening the structure as there are bolts holding it together here. But as you can see, it's lined up straight there, lined up here. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. I think it came out good. Alrighty guys, there it is. It is mounted. Oh good, I've raised it as high as I could until it hits this. So maybe a notch is required, but we'll see that in a bit once I put the bumper on. Alrighty, here is where we stand with it. You can just see the mounts right here, which is what it is. Um, I need to figure out how to mount these, but I'm gonna remove this and do it later. But first, before I put the bumper back on, figure out where this goes. And I have marked an area for it to come out here. So I'm gonna cut that out. There's a V I'll cut out. So that can slip uh, through here and then I can mark it with uh, the pencil. And then I can put some rib nuts in there and get that all mounted. So that is done. Um, yeah, so I rib nutted it in there. It's all nice and sturdy. I was thinking about just putting this on after I put the bumper on um, because it'll probably make things easier, but I don't really want to. So when the bump is on from the inside, I can work on figuring out how to stabilize this i think i'm going to put this i know where i'm going to put this i'm going to put it right here uh riv nut this in there just one hole i might uh elongate this hole i don't know and then i need to level this and make sure it uh, is mounted good there so i'm going to work on that before i put the bumper on so there we go that is on uh on that side and that side I just riv knotted up there and then yeah we'll see how it goes now let's put the bumper on and begin the tedious task of putting everything together alrighty guys well the bumper is secured uh, that job was not easy was not difficult it was just tedious so this is what it looks like now um, these are raised brackets so you can actually see them um, which is what it is. 
I don't mind it, I don't love it, but the side profile, it sticks out anywhere from, uh, it looks like three inches to two inches because it's wavy, it's a wavy style. But yeah, I'm not gonna film putting the hood on because you saw that, so I will get that done. Next up is just uh, some tedious things such as replacing all my keys. I don't think anyone needs to see that. And then I head off to MPC Northbrook and they are replacing my steering rack. Now, the next video I'll go over everything that uh, went wrong with the car over the last two months. Um, I'll go through what's happening there and what got replaced because it was in the shop for a month um, getting parts, waiting for parts. But anyways guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, looking forward to tracking next week with all of these goodies on. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you uh, sooner rather than later. Until next time guys, I'll check you out.